hey guys today um in this video we are going to explore and learn the different ways to select dom elements in javascript so if you have an html file and you want to update the content or manipulate its attributes you can use um, javascript selectors to do it so let's get started so the first one is get element by id so this way it will search uh, element by the element id so this one this is this will return an element whose id matches a past string so this is a faster way to select an element since the id of an element is supposed to be unique in a document so let's create the index file and then let's try to um, add an HTML file here and then going to create a new file and this will be our style that I mean script that GS file then here let's link the script file and source is script.js let's go to our browser and refresh so no content so let's add e content this is e heading so using the get element by id we can have uh, we can add an id here so let's just name it header and then in our gs file we can do the document get element by id method and then here we need to input the name of the id so in this case header so just paste header so let's just assign this one in a variable um, and then let's log the element so let's refresh and then let's open our um console um not the one inspect and then here inside the console tab so as you can see it's showing a now so let's check get element by id So the reason it's not working is that we need to move the script.js file from the bottom I mean from the top to the bottom since here if we um, put that inside our head tag this will automatically run and if you see the h1 or our element is not yet rendered and the script file is already running so that's why it returns an out now let, let's move that one to bottom and then we hit the refresh and as you can see we have the element so we already captured it uh, let's do another one id header 2 this is header 2 and then we um, can try to just copy and paste and make sure we update the variable then here so let's do the console let's refresh so as you can see we select that element 
and then since you have captured the element you can now do whatever you want so you can update the text so maybe inner HTML can do changing header to content so if we refresh this one as you can see here the heading to content is updated so that's the get element by ID so next one is get elements by tag name so this uh, method this will return an HTML collection that pass the tag name that is search so here in our index file let's create a comment by tag name then let's just create a ul or a list tag last one two and then three um, just update this one to id then here maybe we create a span tag uh, span one span, span two so using the get elements by tag name if we want to select all span elements in our document we can use that method so here we can do spans and then document that get elements by tag name and span so this means we are going to capture or get all these span elements in our uh, document so let's do console.lag spans so if we refresh so let's update this one it's wrong elements by tag name so as you can see it returns the collection and this collection is the following sp span so let's do the li so if we get all the list can just do this one and then let's con log the elements to our console so as you can see here we have list so if you want to update list one you can do looping or the for loop of these elements so uh, we can write a code uh, loop and then for loop so this will um, loop all the collections and then you can log the list or the individual elements so we refresh on li for each so let's remove this one So actually this is not the for each so to loop to allies we'll need to use the for 
loop but this syntax so li or list this one this is for array and this one is for uh, collection so if we console or lag the element so let's just remove this one as you can see we have the li and make sure we get the correct item we can um, lag the content so as you can see this one is to this three as you can see here we captured it so the same thing since we have the the element we can change its content or attribute so let's just say change so all of the list will be changed to this content so next one is the get elements by the class name method so this one it will return so the same thing with the get elements by tag name this one this will return an HTML collection of elements that match the past class name so back in our HTML file so we can so let's add an element class name so let's say we have uh, dev class of container so name this one container or make a comment container one container two so here we have the same class so we use class if we have the same attributes or styling that we must apply to both of these elements so that's why we use class so they share the same styling properties so here to use the um, get elements by class name we can just use capture them so I store in a variable um, containers so uh, document that get element by class name and then here we'll going to type the name of the class which is container and then console that lag let's refresh by casting so let's remove this one and then add so as you can see it returns the collection of this element so the same thing we want to change maybe we can do a loop allies um, container of uh, containers so we look to the collections of containers and each va each of the element is stored in the container so if we flag the container as you can see we capture it then we can just you know update content or maybe we add a class uh, the class list that add uh, class one or maybe new class and as you can see if we check it has now the class of new class so that's for get elements by class name so the next one is query selector so the query selector it returns the first element that matches the past selector so so in our file javascript file so we can just use so instead of the 
get owned by ID or by tag name we can use the query selector to select the element so for example in header 1 if we capture the first header which is this one so we can use uh, the query selector and then here we need to type in the name of the selector so if you are familiar with CSS uh, if it's the class then we can do the format with the that and then the name of the class or if it's an ID we can use that one the hash um, sign then the name of the ID so in our example it's an ID we can use the header or the hash and then the name of the ID which is the header so if we install that lag the header um, so let's change this one since this will throw an error since we already assign or declare our same variable so header to then let's refresh so as you can see here header to um, let's do header selector so as you can see we still get the same element if we use the query selector so the only thing with query selector is it only returns the first element so if I'm going to use the class and then get all these containers now I won't be able to capture or get all the elements however it will only capture the first one so if you are going to pull list of elements all the tags then we cannot use the query selector since this only return the first element so if we pull all the span so you can just use this span tag as you can see we have two spans in our element in our document but it only returns the first one so in order to solve the problem we have this called the query selector all now this one this works like the query selector however it will return um, all the elements that match the past selector so going back to our file so here we can use uh, selector all so that's just the name of the variable so if we want to cut get all the span elements so we can use query selector and then all the name of the selector or the selector name and then here if we console so if we refresh as you can see it returns an array of list and you can see we have the span span two so if you want to capture all this header so we can do the header or header two so we could just add a class in this um, headers and then here can do headers 
so actually this is a span headers and then here since this is a class we'll need to put the dot notation or character here it's select this one or lag the headers so once we refresh as you can see headers are selected and then of course we want to update or manipulate the values content you can do the for each since this is an array you can do the for each um, function so let's console the lab and header as you can see we have now selected individual elements now they can do update uh, maybe add a class or maybe remove the class class please so this is a function to remove the class so currently we have the headers so we can just header select to remove this header name or class name the headers so if we we console the header this should remove the class as you can see the headers class name is removed and yeah that's it so thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel